how's it going? It's Mr. Fish Angle here again, bringing you guys another video. I just wanted to start off this video by letting you guys know that I now have a Twitter. Make sure you go follow me. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Fish Angle. The same name, same spelling as my YouTube account. This video, I'm going to be talking about the new bait Set the Hook has for the 2013 season. It's the Set the Hook Mule Craw. It's a great little crawfish bait. I'm going to be talking to you about it. I'm going to tell you all the advantages that this bait's going to bring you in the 2013 season. I'm going to be ringing this bait with the Freedom Lures Rogue. It's a great innovative jig. I'll be showing you this. I'll be showing you the two products together. So make sure you guys stay tuned and thank you for watching. So here we have the new bait, Set the Hook Mule Craw. It's a great small profile bait that imitates a crawfish. Extremely detailed on here. If we start at the back, we have this nice, nice section right here which separates the body and the back. See, you got Set the Hook imprinted on there. As we move into the middle of the bait, there's some ribs. It gives a great look. And as we move on, this looks really realistic crawfish. The body here breaks off into two sections. Almost there's a line down the middle, almost imitating a hook slot, and then it breaks off into the two side panels. Very nice bait. Looks like a crawfish. The claws are three sectioned, so we have one section here, two section here, three here. These two claws are different length very realistic. This is going to give you great action. These claws in the set the hook mule craw they will float in the water so when you're jigging along the bottom the craws will be sitting up in the water attracting those bass. This product is a multi-purpose bait. It's great for various different things. Start off we have a very nice slim profile here what you can do is you can throw a heavy weight on here, like the Freedom Lures Stealth. You can jig this along the bottom. It'll be a great action. With the small profile, easily be able to go through small holes, condense, and pop right back out. This bait can also act like a trailer on a jig. Throw it on the back of one of your favorite jigs, and you'll have some great claws here producing some fantastic action. Here we have the Freedom Lures Stealth Jig. This is a great innovative jig. We have 3D holographic eyes, a nice coated uh, jig head, heavy weight. This will allow you to punch through any cover. Mats, lily pads, grass, you name it. Paired with a skirt and their special um, hooks, you'll definitely make results with this. This will have the claws standing up, and with this, you can swim. You can have this bait swim quickly. You can drag it along the bottom. Again, there's so much you could do with the Freedom Lures jig heads and the Set the Hook Mule Craw. The Set the Hook Mule Craw, just like every other Set the Hook bait, is loaded with salt and scents. It's definitely going to attract bass. You have salt on the outside, which sticks to the bait, and there's salt impregnated inside the bait. When the, bite, when the bass bites onto this lure, they're not going to spit it out. They're not going to just taste plastic. They're going to taste garlics, they're going to taste different scents, and they're going to taste salt. They're going to hold on to this bait longer. Here again, I have the Set the Hook Mule Craw. It is tied on with a Freedom Lures Rogue, Rogue Jig Head. This jig head has a unique design where the jig head isn't, where the jig or the weight isn't attached to the hook. It's actually off. This allows for the, the head, as you can see there, to freely move back and forth. When a fish bites this jig head or the mule craw, it's not going to lose. It's not going to lose the hook or it's not going to make a bigger hole making the bass spit the bait. It's going to get in there and when the line's moving and the bass is moving, it's not going to be a problem. What this unique football head style jig also does is allows the claws on this craw to sit straight up. This puts it in a defensive position, saying to bass, don't eat me, but really, they'll still eat them. Pay close action to the head, bouncing back and forth. This, this produces a great action, but what this also does is has those claws twitch back and forth ever so slightly, just annoying those fish. 
as you can see there. This is just one way you could rig this bait. You could rig it various other ways. Throw a skirt on there from the Freedom Louver Stealth Jig. Texas rig this. Throw a heavy ounce weight on there. Punch through anything you could think of. Just notice how those claws move back and forth. And then loose slack, the bait goes right up into that defensive position. And then with the current, those claws slightly move back and forth. Great bait. Make sure you guys go check out Freedom Lures at www.freedomlures.com. And make sure you check out Set the Hook Baits, www.setthehook.ca. Here we have the same setup I just showed you guys in the tank. We have some 30 pound braid of line on there and with the set the hook mule craw and the freedom lures rogue jig head. What makes this setup itself unique is that with the set the hook mule craw you'll have a great action as those claws rise up in the water column. It's going to really attract fish putting this craw in a defensive position. When the craw or when the bass comes and sucks up the craw it's not going to taste the lead. It's free moving. He's going to taste the salts and the scents in this lure and hold on longer.